First, you have the U.S. Senate. Um, the Senate is made up of 100 senators. That's two per state. And uh, right now, they have 51 senators that are Republican, and then you have 47 that are Democrat, and two that are independent, but they mostly lean um, Democrats. So basically, the Senate is split down the middle, and the Republican Senate have a very, very narrow uh, hold on a majority. Now, Chuck Schumer earlier has said that this bill will not uh, make it through the Senate, and the reason why he is saying that is because this bill has to get uh, at least 60 votes in order for that, to, in order for the bill to go through. And as you can see, that is not going to happen. The chances of nine uh, Democratic senators, you know, going over to the other side is very, very unlikely. I don't want to say it's impossible because this is politics and anything can happen. But the chances are pretty, you know, they're pretty low. So everybody now is um, basically preparing for this government shutdown. So what would happen if the government shut down? Um, as it stands right now, about 800,000 people, uh, federal employees from various uh, agencies, would um, would basically be affected, and many of them would have to work without pay. But something that I do want to highlight is the fact that around 54,000 of those 800,000 um, come from Customs and Border Protection. Now, these are the people that are actually in charge of keeping uh, the border up and working in border security. So it's somewhat ironic that you know Donald Trump has been called calling for this government shutdown and yet this shutdown is going to affect the very agency that he's been you know advocating for for so long so but um, this is where we are right now as it stands um, neither side seems to be willing to compromise and uh, it like I said it looks like a government shutdown is inevitable